Our next speaker is Councillor Cho. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I'm rising to say that I'm going to support these steps recommendations, and uh, the reasons are following. You know, if we replay today's uh, uh, discussion by all the councillors, 50 years later, and uh, the tape was seen by uh, our grandchildren, great-great-children, most of them will tell what a stupid council they were. You know, we're talking about the uh, quality of life, of uh, people driving big cars, uh, Mercedes Benz, BMW, etc., etc. Did they ever care about the future of our world 50 years later? You know? It's not really surprising how narrow minded we see and, uh, and then become a parochial or you know, I was in uh, Beijing 2005, not with the taxpayers' money, it was a summer holiday with my wife, and I was really surprised. I'm not talking about the Europe, huge country, maybe the biggest country in the world. Roughly half the population, they weren't buying, okay? And then uh, last month, I was uh, in Korea, Seoul, Korea, again, uh, not taxpayers' money. Uh, I was real disappointed the mayor didn't take me, but uh, it's okay. I was there before mayor, and I saw on TV, you know, the, uh, the president of the country, Myung Bak Lee, was on bike with the cabinet ministers and so many people. Their national goal is to become third country that makes the most uh, bicycle in the world. Their population is uh, 45 million, maybe just a little over than our population. They're very ambitious, okay? And they're going to increase the cyclist population. Third one in the country because they are concerned about the environment. I was driving around. I was lucky that I had some friend and he gave me a car and driver. So I was in the car in many cities. They have these uh, figures, you know, and, uh, PFM or whatever, they all the uh, environment uh, figures, which we don't have. They are so sensitive. You know, we are far, far behind in many, many ways. We have to wake up, okay? You know, there are lots and lots of other communities in the world besides the Tobico. If the bicycle lake, and bike, bicycle lake uh, lane is uh, empty, I think the leaders there, they should take a leadership and encourage young people to go and bike if they care about the environment. We, the number one topic is environment. In my world, last year, i like to thank the 42 Police Division, Mr. Rick Gosling, Ontario Cycle Law Association. I invite them, or they came to see me. So, last year we had the tour of Melbourne. We had 15 children on bike, and I biked with them. Okay, it's kind of risky for me to bike. I used to be very athletic, but I'm getting a little senior. But I did that to show that to support, right? Now, this year, 28 young people, they're biking, they're bic bicycling, this time Melbourne Bicycle Classic. We have to take a leadership. You know, this planet is dying. According to this uh, uh, author, James Lovelock, is not just one of the scientists, or overly concerned. Now I got his name uh, in Saturday's uh, Toronto Star. Uh, I was almost to reject, uh, going to reject this one after I read the uh, uh, editorial. But when I turned on the other pages of our environment, this is uh, James Lovelock. He's the author of more than 200 scientific papers. Okay, and in 2003, he was made a companion of honor by Her Majesty the Queen, and in September 2005, Prospect Magazine named him as one of the world's top 100 global public intellectuals. In April 2006, he was awarded the Edinburgh Medal at the Edinburgh International Science Festival. If you're really concerned about the quality of life for our future generation, you know, we have to look at from environment uh, point of view rather than 
how much the tax is going up. How much, you know, we have to concern about our proposed tax, right? We are counselor today, we but we have to be responsible Oscar. politician, elected representative concerned about the Toronto, about Canada, about this planet, 20 years from now, 50 years from now, 100 years from now. We talk about the uh, vision. What kind of universe we're going to give to our, or pay back to them, we are all actually borrowing. I'm so glad that the, this jobs project has a bicycle lane. If there was no bicycle lane, I'm not going to support. That is why I did ask the uh, general manager, I did ask the councilor Kyle Ray, or, you know. I hope uh, many councilors mentioned earlier changed their mind. We have to support this. In, this is a really environmental issue. By then, Toronto will become the role model of the world. We care. We have a mayor, nicknamed Green Mayor. He just got back from the World Conference C40 in Seoul, Korea. I'm sure our mayor learned so many things from Korea. We used to be number one, not anymore. We're a good country, but we have to learn so much from other parts. But still, we get a lot of respect internationally. We have to play the role model, and let's go for this project. This is a great project. And Madam Deputy Speaker, I'm supporting this project, and that is why. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Our next speaker is Count.